Well, Velodrome is a banked cycling track, and its origins go back, you know, probably over 100 years. But a, a velodrome allows uh, people to ride in a safe environment, that you don't have to deal with the traffic and cars and things like that. And it's a, it can be a very high speed, fun and exciting racing venue. Fast Track Cycling is, an, is a nonprofit organization. We've been around for five or six years. We just wanted to be able to bring this kind of racing and this kind of training and this kind of activity and exercise to people here in the city of Cleveland. So this is a 166 meter track, which, which will make for some very exciting racing, and that's 10 laps to the mile. We have 50 degree banked uh, turns here, so you'll come in, down low, you may, you may come up to the top of the track, and then you, and as you exit the turn, you come flying out of, out of the top of the bank, and it feels like you're falling from the sky. You're, you're, it is so fast and so exhilarating. As you get higher on the track, you need to maintain about 17 miles an hour so that you don't slide down. Now, an accomplished racer or a professional can hit speeds of up to about 40 miles an hour, 42 miles an hour. Once we got through all the design aspects and, and figured out our site and, and got our fundraising uh, well established, you know, we ordered the track. There is about 60,000 pounds of steel and about 25,000 pounds of, of wood and there are 156 stanchions each of which takes 11 welds. I'm not going to try and do that math but it's a lot of welding plus all the ribbons that you see each of those are approximately 20 foot lengths that also had to be welded together so in my book that's a lot of welding. When you think of welding you think of Lincoln Electric at least I do so that's that's why we we went to the best right off the bat. So right now we're using a Ranger engine driven welder and I believe the rod is 6013 electrodes. So the track was ordered and the fabrication started and uh, a couple of weeks ago materials started showing up and all our volunteers have showed up when we've needed them and we started by putting the individual trusses up and we're currently putting in the, the ribbons or the noodles that give the whole track rigidity and strength and uh, next using our Lincoln welders, we're gonna be welding those ribbons to the trusses. And then after that, we put uh, the wood surface on top and then we'll be riding and racing our bicycles. Today we're having the first of our two open houses. You know, using the Ranger was so helpful. Uh, we finished the welding in a couple of days and then it was just manpower and uh, we started with the, the yellow boards and the brown boards and it was just a lot, of, uh, a lot of volunteer labor. You know, we could not have gotten the project done as quickly without Lincoln. We got a little bit of training from, from Lincoln and certainly the Ranger welder you know, just made everything go so much faster. And, and I think, you know, from my standpoint, Lincoln was a good community citizen who came in and stepped up and helped us out when we needed some help in an area that we didn't necessarily have any expertise. And uh, Lincoln really stepped up and, and gave us a hand to, to make this a reality. So after putting in five years of work on this, a lot of breakfasts, a lot of meetings, the first couple laps were a little bit scary. Uh, it's a 50 degree bank, but uh, after about four or five laps, it was just pure joy and a lot of high fives that we, that we got, this, got this far and got this finished. From an idea on the back of a napkin to going around the track at 22, 23 miles an hour, it was pretty exhilarating. 